What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. This is the Rotor for Champions RTG Edition. This is episode number three, and we got 19,000 coins. And Booyah Nation, can we get 19,000 likes on this episode because we got 19,000 coins? That would be epic. With that being said, I'm going to buy a Hawk card for 650 coins, and I'm also going to buy Jonas from Benfica uh, to be able to play on our Portuguese league team to use offline only. I don't want Jonas online. I don't want him in the daily knockouts. I don't want him in foot champions. I want him for squad battles. I'll explain that in just a minute guys the stuff on my trade pile that's about to sell as well in this episode i'm gonna jump into the draft and the reason i'm gonna jump into the draft because after everything on the trade pile sold after we played squad battles it got me to thirty thousand coins and this series is a road to glory but more importantly it's us doing everything and using everything in our powers except for fever points to be able to make a team good enough to go into foot champions i need the draft right now we have a week to be able to get ready for foot champions and we gotta build an epic team quickly so I'm using squad battles, I'm using SPCs, and now I'm going to take a gamble on myself and play in the draft, which is very, very scary. I bought Jonas because I feel like offline gameplay is very different from online gameplay. Squad battles on Legendary, you need yourself a good striker. As you guys can see, we beast and feast through all the games. That got us to 25,000 coins. After some more stuff sold from our squad, remember that we did SPCs in the last episode, we got up to 30,000 coins. I'll show you everything in the trade pile at the end of this episode. With that being said, that's how I placed. Top, I'm 24, top 100 on squad battles now let's jump into the draft baby well now that i got you guys all caught up it's time to take a chance yo now i could take my thirty thousand coins and invest in players and really hope that that pays off that's what a lot of people would do in my situation but i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of take a chance i'm gonna take a gamble on my fifa ability and then i'm taking a gamble on the EA's pack luck. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because I've been on Twitter. I've been seeing a lot of what the Booyah Nation has been showing me pictures of and what they've been getting out of the draft. So since I have 30,000 coins, one draft won't kill us. I feel like I'm in a position where I could use that 30,000 coins to build a new team, but at the same time, I want to gamble. I want to shoot right now. I want to shoot for the stars because right now, bros, if you hit something, it's a time to hit it because most players are selling for something. So the chance of you making your 15,000 coins back is massive. So I'm going to take that chance. Remember, this account was started from nothing and we got ourselves all the way up to 30,000 coins plus a Portuguese league team. And now I'm taking the chance of the draft, bros. Uh, I feel like it's the right thing to do. I'm going with the 4-3-1-2, which is a great formation in FIFA 17 and now 18 as well. We're going to really hope we get Ronaldo. I literally was going to tell you guys, I hope we get Ronaldo and we've gotten Ronaldo. And now from what I when I showed you the squad battle stuff, the, 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 the last four games I played, I used this Ronaldo for game five. He was unbelievable, bros. This card was nuts. It's by far the best strike I've ever played with in any FIFA. Now that we've gotten him, we got to hope and pray that we get some, some good stuff here. I'm going to go BBVA La Liga, um, and hopefully that's the smart move here. Hopefully we get Messi's and Ronaldo's, and we really build a solid team around Ronaldo. Oh, goodness. Okay, wait. You know what? We might be switching into the BPL because Mani just popped in. I'm telling you something, guys. Mani is a beast and you know you see Neymar on your probably like skills go with Neymar but the chance of us getting a lot a league one team put together tough the chances of us putting a BPL team together EPL easy peasy we're going with the big boy Mani and now we'll see what happens even if we use him as a super sub that's okay do we have a decision to make we don't the decision's pretty easy we got to stay in La Liga and we got to stay with Sal. Did I say that right? Uh, uh, I think I did. Sal. I think it said like that. Um, we're going to stay with the Atletico Madrid, man. The Spanish, man. Maybe we could put a nice hybrid together of La Liga and the BPL. Right here, we see Herrera. And that's kind of a good shout because Spanish, Spanish. Look at that. And Mani's on seven. I mean, it's not a bad look. I might let it go. I might try to let it fly. I might see if we can make something happen. I don't know if that was a good pick, but why not? Now we see nothing from La Liga, and that's when we're probably going to switch back into the uh, EPL. And I guess we should go with Ramsey or... You know what I'll do here? I'll go ahead and take the Everton, man. And then we'll do a swap Aroni like this and like this. I feel like that might be... You know what? Not bad, right? Not bad. Not a bad shout. Not a bad shout for the beginning of the draft. Now the big choice comes. Do I keep it Spanish or do I switch and grab Klein? And I think the right choice is to keep it Spanish. So I'm going to go with DeMarcos. 
I really want Klein, but I'm going to go with DeMarcos. Now we have to hope for Sergio Ramos. Please give us Sergio Ramos. Give us Sergio Ramos. Big boy Ramos doesn't pop, but we do have hope. Because if we take the Brazilian from Valencia and we get David Luiz, then everything is copacetic. Let's see if EA's looking over us. Let's see if EA's looking over us. They're not. They're not looking. They're not, they're not having it. EA's just not having it, bros. Um, I guess we go with Mendy because he's for Real Betis and it fits. So why not? Let's get Real Betis, uh, the Real Betis center back. And then we're going to get a left back from where uh, the Befica, man, they got destroyed in the Champions League. Whew, that's the worst loss I've seen for Befica in years. Um, EPL center back, I mean, left back here. You know what I might do? I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the EPL left back and then hopefully a goalie from La Liga will sort us perfect chemistry. That looks all right, you know. Now that Roberto, yo, he was terrible when he played at Befica, but I ain't mad at it. Let's get Roberto and look at the chemistry jump. Watch this, wah bang. Oh, it's still seven. Okay, no wah bang. The wah bang was a little bit premature, but it's okay, because we're still in there like swimwear, bros. We are still in here like swimwear. We're doing all right. Gareth Bale shows his face, and I am not mad at it. I've heard great things about Mr. Gareth Bale. And I'm excited to play with him. The only problem is now, how do I get the full chem? We're going to figure it out. Slowly but surely, we are going to figure it out. Right now, we get my man Vaughn, who is a fantastic left back. You guys know about Vaughn. One of my favorite players in the EPL last year. Why not go ahead and take him? You know what? Gareth Bale might not start, but at least we have him on the bench. Right here, it doesn't really matter. Let's just take the fastest. Who really cares? And we'll keep it moving. Come on, baby. Give us something good here. Um, right here, we get absolutely nothing. Samurai's... Nothing, you get an EPL right mid. Uh, you don't really, let's take the Frenchman here just in case we need him from Valencia. I don't really think that's helping us at all, to be fair. I don't think that's gonna do anything for us. Even if I swap this around, you know, Mani drops massively because we would need a Liverpool. We would need a Liverpool, what you would call it. A Liverpool, um, a Liverpool, what you would call it. Uh, CM over there. Either way, let's keep it moving, man. Right here, we see nothing again. I'm just gonna take the boy Bruma as a super sub. The big boy Bruma. Come on, guys, give me something. Help me, give me some CMs. Help me fix this midfield, please. Opportunity here to change things around with Pedro. Interesting, very interesting. I think I take Pedro here. And the reason I'm gonna take Pedro here is because I'm gonna start Pedro for full chem, right? Yeah, that's the right shout. Gareth Bale's gonna have to be a bench player, unfortunately. But I've heard extremely great things about Gareth Bale. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wish Cristiano Ronaldo would pop for us, and then we could change stuff around, but you know what? We can't be mad at it, man. Slowly but surely, we're putting together an okay team. Insigne was my guy last year for super subs. He's going to be my guy again. Uh, let's go ahead and take the boy Insigne. Have any of you guys used Pedro? Is he good? Is he bad? We got to beef up this center back position just a little bit. Let's see if something pops for us. Um, you know what? I ain't mad at my man Nelson Smith. I ain't mad at Nelson Smith. Maybe I didn't actually need him, though. DeMarcos was a good shout. Maybe I actually didn't need him. Either way, I took him. Let's see what we get here. Dani Alves not really fit in the team. No one here really fit in the team, to be fair. We can go ahead and take a left back from the BBVA from La Liga and see if we actually go full La Liga team, which I don't think we will, but we might. Courtois has got to be our guy, doesn't it? No, wait. O'Block. Why did I say Courtois? I meant to say Ter Stegen. We're going to take the boy O'Block. 88 rated big boy O'Block. So realistically, it's not a bad team. I'm not the craziest for my front three because I'm not the craziest for big boy Pedro. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But at the same time, it's, it's not a bad team. I'm going to take Waniyama here. And my last pick falls to who? How about Messi? Okay, no, not Messi. Christian, oh, what? I said no, not Messi. And he's sitting right there staring at us. Let's make the right choice here. If I go Cristiano, big boy Ronaldo, how can I fix this? Can I fix this? The answer is... I can fix it. I can fix it if I pick up the boy Cristiano Ronaldo. But then I have to bench Mani. If I take Messi, can I fix it? The answer is no. I don't think. Me I can't make Messi fit with everybody on full chem, I don't think. But if I take Cristiano Ronaldo, I could really make things pop. Big time. Let's take him. Big boy Cristiano Ronaldo, you're probably saying, why skills? Let me show you why. Mani's going to be a super sub. We're going to move... Herrera over there and then we're going to grab the French CDM put him there and then we're going to grab the left back and put him here and the chemistry is off why because of Herrera how do we fix Herrera 
How do we fix Herrera, bros? There has to be a way to fix Herrera. I know how we fix Herrera. Like that. Bang! Oh, man. That's... Ah, the center back. The center back. Wait, wait, wait. There must... There surely must be a way. There surely must be a way. The biggest thing for me right now is I wish I could start Gareth Bale. But I, I honestly can't because I need a one more CM from La Liga, which didn't really pop for us. Unless I grab Nelson Smith and start him there. He's on three cam. Would y'all do that? Would y'all start Nelson Smith right there? I'm thinking about it. I'm legitimately thinking about putting Nelson Smith as a CM. I'm really thinking about it, bros. Anyways, we'll see exactly what's going to happen in a minute. But I am thinking about it hard. Monty has to come with us. Um, let's go ahead and leave this CM behind. Actually, we could leave, could leave, we could leave one of the left backs behind. And let's grab a manager, bros. I'm actually thinking about moving, putting Nelson Smith as a CM. I know it sounds really crazy. Um, Pep Guardiola? Wait, if I put Pep Guardiola and put Herrera back in, are we good? Let's try it. I'm going to take Pep Guardiola. I'm going to put Herrera back in. And we're going to hopefully get good chemistry everywhere. Let's see what happens. We got a 185. Not bad. Gareth Bale, Ronaldo, and Ronaldo. CR7. Freaking Ronaldo and Gareth Bale. I mean, that's pretty big in itself. If I grab Herrera now and drop him right there, ugh, Gareth Bale is messing it up for us, man. Big boy Gareth Bale. If we got any other Madrid player, it would have worked lovely. Yo, you know what? I might just have to bring Herrera in as a super sub and start the boy Nelson Smith at CM. I feel like it's the right thing to do. Bros, let's jump into the draft. Wish me luck. We took a massive gamble. Hopefully it pays off. So is this gamble really going to work for us? Is this the smart move? Is this the right thing to do? I don't know if it's the right thing to do. I don't know if SBC is the right thing to do. I don't really know if anything's the right thing to do when I'm playing my road to glory. What I know is I have an entire week to try to put the strongest team together for us to get elite one and top 100, bros. That's the thing I want y'all to understand the most. The reason I restarted this account is because people felt the $4 was, you know, cheating. But more than anything, I didn't start because I'm playing drafts. I'm going to play drafts. I'm going to play SBCs. I'm going to use everything in the game and in my power to try to get a good team together. Because week one, bros, I want to be getting elite. Whether it's elite three, elite two, elite one, or top 100, whatever we can get, man. We need to be able to place highly in foot champions. This is road to foot champions. As you guys know, last year's series was all about showing you guys how to start an account literally what I would do to start an account to be able to get into foot champions and start to perform. And for me, the way I start an account without coins is playing offline divisions, then going into drafts. And in the beginning of drafts, it's very important, bros. No matter what you pack in drafts, you're almost going to profit because, well, not all the time, but a lot of times you're going to profit because players are selling for so much that, you know, if, even if you hit someone like Sonaldo or Rashford, you know, a low-rated player, you're going to bank, man. That first game was very difficult, but we walked out of here with a 5-1 win because of big boy Ronaldo getting the Brazilian Ronaldo plus the Portuguese Ronaldo again. That's like a cheat code, man. We get matched up against five at the back, but I wasn't even worried because I got these two guys. Now, I want to jump and talk about squad battles again. I'm going to have, like, what I think I'm going to do is instead of showing the offline gameplay, I'll show you the offline gameplay of squad battles probably when I get to, like, the end. So the, the weekend games, when it's almost over. Over because I don't want to show you every day four games or maybe I will I can just show you all the results instead If you guys want to see the full gameplay to see how I can do it how I'm doing it Let me know in the comments down below bros, but as I was saying Right now, I'm spamming offline di uh, uh, divisions, as you guys saw. Um, I'm also spamming online division. That's one thing I haven't showed you. I'll show you. That's where the 5,000 coins came from. You know how I was at 25,000 coins, then I got to 30, and we came into a draft? I, I, I beat Division 10 online, and I have the gameplay for you guys. I'll show that to you in the next episode. I promise you guys. We beat online uh, Division 10 online with the Portuguese League team, and uh, we also I showed you guys us beating the offline division. So that's how we got to 30,000 coins, and that's when I decided, you know, let's take a chance, because even if I fail at this draft we still have 15,000 coins we're not in a bad place you know what's the worst thing can happen let's go ahead and take a chance I also took a chance with those SBCs that in my opinion didn't really pay off now I bought Jonas for the squad battles and when I bought Jonas you probably like skills why would you ever buy a striker with like 64 pace well I bought 64 pace because in a hunter card because offline bros when you're playing squad battles, when you're playing through divisions offline, which I'm not going to play, I'll play, like, the divisions offline is literally just for fitness. Whenever I need fitness, I go play divisions offline, and I leave my main team down bottom so they can get fitness back, and while I'm doing it, I'm winning divisions to give me coins. That's, that's my strategy to it. But offline, pace doesn't really matter. 
the, the legendary computer is not pressing you, pressing you that much to where you need loads of pace. So I had, for a while there, you guys saw I was running with just fast players like uh, Jelson Martins and stuff like that as my striker, but they miss so much. And against the legendary computer, you're going to get a lot of chances, but in the beginning, your first three chances, you got to score. You have to score right away, because if you don't, the legendary computer, if they get that goal first, it is so cheesy. If you score first and they start attacking you, you can easily beat them, but if they get that first goal, it becomes difficult. So I wanted a guy like Jonas um, that when he freaking shoots, he scores, because it's that important to get a goal like that early in squad battle. So that's why I went with Jonas. So if I was you guys, if you're building a team, I would almost build two teams, one for online. You need a lot of pace, Mani, Sonaldo, you know, players like that for online. Offline, build yourself a team that's just good. You can use the Fabregas's, the Matiches, the Ibrahimovic's. The, the slow players in this game are still going to be massively amazing offline because they have good, you can finesse from outside the box, you're scoring bangers. They're just not pressing you as much. That's kind of my tactics uh, in squad battles and trying to get top 100. So we get into the final against a 4-2-3-1, which you guys know was one of my favorite formations. Not this one exactly, the one with the with the, the left, the right cam, the, mid, the left cam, but this is one of my best formations at FIFA when it comes to defensively. And this guy got a goal early and when he got this goal early I'm not gonna lie he was very scared he got me with Ronaldo and Salah beautiful one two but luckily in the final we're able to turn it around all because of this big boy Ronaldo man look at him weaving look at his skill moves look at the way he places the ball to Portuguese Ronaldo and just patience was the, re the way we scored that goal big boy Ronaldo made it one one a very very important goal then Nelson Smith who runs up the field finds a good pass to Herrera who finds a beautiful pass to Sal and he bangs that keeps it low makes it two one and all of a sudden we're in great shape to win a another final. You guys know my other account, I won three drafts. On this account, it's our first one. And it looks like, oh wait, just kidding, his Ronaldo scores, but I can tell you, we are gonna get another one, and then another one. So we are gonna walk out of here with our first ever draft victory. Guys, I hope you guys are enjoying these Roto Boys. I hope they're, you, you're getting something from it and able to build yourself an account as well. With that being said, I'm gonna jump back into the live com of you guys watching me open the packs. We won the draft though, 4-2, massive win. Let's go get these packs, baby. So in life, you gotta gamble sometimes, and I kinda just just went off my ability of being able to play FIFA and I really just I, I, I took a gamble on myself I felt that I could win the draft two times it got very 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 scary game one was scary and game four was scary but luckily we were able to win the draft and hopefully we can only hope and pray that we get something nice now when we went into the draft we had 30,000 coins we're now at 23,000 coins so all we really have to do is make like 7,000 coins to guarantee our money back and anything else is a profit that's what we're here for the profit Let's just, oh, come on, man. Can you give us like the, you know, when they give you the coin bonus and the coin boost, the coin, the coin thing? Ah, it's not what we wanted to see. Yo, that is not what we wanted to see, but it is a rare player pack. We'll take that. And it's a gold pack. All right. Now I kind of want to see some coins pop up again. 7,000 coins is all we need, baby. 7,000 coins. This is a very good way to make money. If you guys want to do it this way, that's a very bad pack, man. I saw there was no flash. I mean, it's not a great way to make money. It's a chance you take right there. I felt like. And one of the rewards where you, we got actual money or whatever you mean, you know, you know what I'm talking about. There's a reward where it gives you like, I think like 40 or 30 thousand coins. I was really hoping for that. I'd rather get coins than get a freaking pack. But at the same time, these drafts help because you get a lot of contracts, a lot of fitness cards, and uh, usually, you usually you'll hit a player early in FIFA that will actually sell because right now everything is selling big time. So let's just hope for maybe a flare. Give us a, give us some borders. Give us some borders, baby. Give us some borders, please. Give us some borders. There's borders. There's borders, baby. This could be big for the. Ro Oh, is it that four? Please be a good one. Please be a German. Is this a good one? Striker? Who is that? Oh, 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 I got mad excited, bros. Ah, okay, wait. There still could be a nice player in here. We got to inform. That's not bad, right? That's not bad. We'll make 9,000 coins at least. What's in here, man? Uh, I don't really see nothing that sells. Wait, wait. Liverpool goalkeeper could sell. Right mid could sell. Right mid from, ah, yo, did we make our money back? I hope so. I'm not sure about this German striker. Let's find out. Let's see what's, ooh, he does it. All right, so he goes for pretty much almost discard. His discard price is 16,000 coins. Um, so do I disc, wait, no, 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 he's, he's 9,000 coins. Sorry, his discard's 9,000 coins. So what I'm going to do is list them, okay? And uh, hopefully he sells. If he doesn't, then it is what it is. We're going to at least discard him and get our money back. So there it is, man. We gambled in the draft. We tried to make some money. Um, are we going to make some money? Yes, we're going to profit here. Why are we going to profit? Because 
again, we're at 23,000. We went in with 30,000. We discard that inform. We're already back over 30,000 just from the, the inform. Um, and then after selling every single one of these regular gold players, we'll get at least 650 for each one. So we could be looking at 35 to 40,000 coins. Um, uh, maybe something will sell for a bit, a bit uh, more than 650. So that's why you play the draft, man. That's why it's a good reason to play the draft early in FIFA. Towards the middle of FIFA, it's not really profitable anymore, but right now the draft is big time profitable if you can be successful in the draft. And sometimes even being successful is not enough. So as you guys can see, I listed everything that we got. Um, kind of sucks. I saw I saw boards and I saw the inform and I was ready to go freaking nuts. But hopefully this guy sells. Hopefully everything our trade pile sells and we'll get up to like maybe... I would say around 35 to 40,000 coins, which is not bad. Not bad at all for a road to glory. It's been your boy, Double A Nine Skills. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Remember, my road to glory, bros, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, the draft is not a road to glory. This is not meant to be some, like, original, like, like, old, like, old school, traditional road to glory. Bros, we're trying to make a team to compete in foot champions. I don't want no other account. This is my main account. I need a team before the 6th of October to compete and try to get Elite One and Top 100. It's that simple. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to be able to get to the Top 100 or Elite One and get a team that's good enough for that by playing the draft, by trading, doing whatever I gotta do. So if you're looking for that traditional road to glory, we did that last year. This year it's about drafting, it's about everything. We're doing everything and every which thing we can to be able to get good packs, to be able to win. This is the road to foot champions. It's more about foot champions than it is the road to glory. So I hope you guys enjoy that, man. Thank you for the big, thank you for all the love and support you've been giving this uh, this, this, this series. It's been the, I mean, the world to me. You guys are the best. Big thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Booyah, we out of here. I, I just wish that was like, you know, like why couldn't it be like a Royce or something? Ah, come on, cool. 75, 76, 79, 76, 75. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double Skills, and the most anticipated series on this channel has finally arrived. Now, what you're looking at on your screen is the account I started in early access, and this is not gonna be our road to glory, or maybe it will, well, you'll ex I'll explain in just a minute. We're about to start a brand new account, but ladies and gentlemen, can we get 20,000 likes for episode one of the R? T G Road to Foot Champions Bay B, and I'm gonna explain it all. So right now on the account that I wanted to be my Road to Glory, the one that I told you guys to be sick if we continue, the one I put four dollars in, the one that got top 100 squad battles. Well, that's actually sixth in the world right now for this week's squad battle. So you just saw my rewards yesterday's video. If you missed it, go check it out. The rewards on yesterday's video was for last week's squad battles. We got top 100. But now we're starting a brand new week.